Well, well, well. Again, this is quite a special review because I am reviewing a Korean book. And hello, the bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester, and today I bring you the sequel of of Kumio Shikdang or Nine Tailed Fox Restaurant by um by Park Hyun Suk. And well, let's get right on with it. So the name of this book is Chosesang Audition, which basically means the Afterlife Edition. And let me tell you what that means. Basically, I mean, what's the Afterlife Edition? Ilhona, he is the main character, and she has gone through a lot of unfair stuff, like the teacher accusing him for things he hasn't done, and all sorts of things like that. However, this time, he really has something really unfair. When Dohina, a, a friend or an associate, a classmate, tried what well, when he saw this girl Nado He about to jump off a freaking roof, he goes and tries to grab her, and because of that moment, he also dies. When, when he finally can see, he realizes that he has to take an addition. Because you see, all things are born with an amount of time to live with. And if you end your own life via suicide, that means that you're being unthankful to the life given to you. And due to this, due to this, you can't just happily waltz over to the afterlife. You have to take an addition. An addition to make your judges cry. And yeah, that, that's basically that's basically what he needs to do. And the thing is, this is so unfair because he didn't choose this death. This is an error. Not though he was trying to kill herself, but he, he was just trying to save her and she, he died. So it's really, really just not a good situation. At first, everyone thinks that the best way to get through the addition is to sing. However, the singing does not make the judges cry. And Nado he is called a prodigy rapper and even with her rapping skills they cannot make the judges well the judges cry and all the people who are with them who committed suicide they all have their particular little stories and little backgrounds and we will get to know that throughout the entire book although i know it's korean but still it's a great book and okay so th i think that's pretty much it for the basic outline of the book now i want to say I'm a bit disappointed. Cause the thing is, what I expected from the sequel of Nine Tail Fox Restaurant or Kumio Shitan, what I did expect expect from this is that I expected this book to sort of carry on um, the theme from the previous book in the original book and sort of just go on with it, you know, walk with it, make it better and a new streak perhaps to make it less boring and different from Kumio Shitan. And I think that the author, I believe that the author was trying to go for a try, very different ending than this book, which is the, the first book of the series. And I think she wanted to defer it from the original book, this one, to see, I want, she, I think she wanted a completely different sequel to her original book. And the thing is, she tried, but what I get from this is very mixed messages because obviously there's that huge overall message don't commit suicide but I think that's a bit too obvious and then of course there is like an indirect way of telling us about the uh, problems about the internet because now though he actually kills herself due to the fact that a very very hurtful rumor was spreading about her on the internet and because of this she killed herself and so and so, yeah, so the dangers of the internet. Indirectly, they're showing us themes like suicide, dangers of the internet, etc, etc. Now, but the thing is, at the end, the main character, Nahiro, because of the error, he comes back to life. And I honestly think that's not, that's just not right, because even if he didn't, he, if he, even if he didn't commit suicide, that literally just, doesn't mean anything like he died that's the point although it wasn't suicide that means he doesn't have to take the audition and go to the afterlife no he goes opposite to the stream of life and comes back and he resurrects and i think that's absolutely ridiculous because the thing is this entire book is about accepting death and this one is, is the book this this book is like oh you died but since it was a mistake you can go back bye like 
it just doesn't make a connection and like that is not just that just doesn't continue with the original theme of the first book and all in all i'm just getting really big mixed messages about everything in this current book and although although the author Park Hanshan Park, Park, Park she's really good at writing like i can tell but without that flair that she write with without that flair and without, without these really obvious themes that are peeking out it really doesn't amount to much unlike the first book which really 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 impressed me and all in all i think that it could have been much better and some points of improvement could be maybe changing the ending a little bit try to make it more philosophical maybe connect to this book bring us full circle something like that i think that might have been a better ending for this particular book and perhaps made it more so of a sequel, as it literally said, it is the second book of the of of is the second version of Kumio Kumio Shikdang. It's supposed to be the second version of Kumi Ho Shikdang, and really, there's almost no connection to it except that it appears in the same world apparently, and also the fact that it's after death. So, yeah, I think that is my opinion on the Afterlife edition. It is a pretty good book, and I would probably recommended this to you if you were a Korean and I gotta say even though it was lacking in some parts it still was a very enjoyable high class fantasy book and like always your book quester Aaron the book quester pretty good book but could have been a little better in just my opinion